Yakuza. There are no rules but one. Drink Jägermeister at minus 18 degrees Celsius. And with uh, across uh, the Spider-Verse, white hot at the moment, and with so many epic action sequences in that movie, are there some action scenes you remember growing up or from recent years in animated movies, anime, or even comic books that you would like to bring to uh, to life in live action mode? Well, it, it's funny. Um, to me, one of my my favorite concepts um, taking cartoon action, taking anime action and translating it to live action has always been one of my favorite um, challenges. Uh, Brad Allen, who was the second unit director of uh, Kick-Ass, of Scott Pilgrim versus the World, of um, uh, Shang-Chi, um, so many, so many just incredible, just, you know, bar-raising films. Um, he was a huge, huge anime fan, and he would take different camera angles, different camera movements, different things from anime, and translate that into live action. Um, a lot of people have, have tried, but it normally ends up looking That's weak. Bad. Just it, does, it, does, it, yeah, it doesn't doesn't work. He found a way to make it work, and I always wanted to do what he did and find ways to make it work. Um, there, there isn't a specific, you know. I mean, I mean, like, I, I love, uh, like, Demon Slayer was like my favorite little anime as of as of recently, and uh, you know, it, it, it's it would, it absolutely would, but it's not. I wouldn't necessarily want to make a Demon Slayer live action film, but I love the idea of taking shots and sequences from Demon Slayer and translating them into live action and uh you know just just certain tricks like i love i love the way anime can can freeze time you know like when you're watching most fight scenes it's going at a very monotonous pace you're on you know and it you know it starts to feel like a dance and at the end of the day we know what we're watching is a dance you know the the choreography of it all is two bodies moving and it's choreographed so nobody actually gets hurt throughout it so it feels like it feels like a dance um in in anime you'll be in the middle of a fight you go bah, 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 and then you just see like a punch come in in super slow motion even the contact that happens like really slow and it gives you these great moments where you like you push in on the actor's face or, you know, in anime on the, on the cartoon's face, on the character's face. And you are feeling what they're feeling. Cause you know, like when, when you're super wide, when you just see two little bodies fighting on the screen, you don't know what they're thinking. You don't see their facial reactions, you know, and in a fight, there's so much that happens in a split second that you can't really parlay. You can't, you can't really show that in regular speed. But if you can slow it down, so you see as a punch is coming, you're watching the punch, but you're watching what the other hand is doing too. And you you might see a weakness. So even as you're taking this punch, you know what you're countering with for the next move. Um, and anime just always has a really, really cool way to do that. So taking like little little things like that. And, you know, um, traditionally when, you know, when you're shooting any scene, um, everyone's taught, you know, you're, you're over the shoulder, over the shoulder. And they, they started shooting that way just because it's the easiest way to, you know, see what the actor's seeing. You want to be, you know, roughly eye level because that's, you know, how you can convey emotion. It feels like you're talking to the person, you know, you, you wouldn't be talking to somebody while like on your knees, looking up at them, or you wouldn't talk to somebody while you were standing on a table, looking down at them. You want to be at eye level to, to feel what they're feeling. However, in a fight sequence, you don't necessarily have to always stay at that eye level. Um, anime is almost always like hip level. You're low looking up, which makes characters look bigger and stronger. It makes movements seem more exaggerated and, and, and bigger than they actually are. Um, so to me, taking elements of anime and turning them into live action can enhance live action um, in a really cool way, if, if you do it the right way. 
We stay genuine, uncensored and unscripted, and we always will, as we have to order our usual. Share us, subscribe us, and stay tuned until the next Wednesday. Iguzo!